time for kickoff of BYU Women's Soccer on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Left footed shot and a goal! What a shot by the BYU Cougars! Coverage of today's game is brought to you by Mountain America Credit Union. Mountain America, the official credit union of BYU Athletics. Brought to you by Smith's Food and Drug. Get double fuel points and free grocery delivery with a boost by Smith's Rewards Membership. Alongside Rachel Manning-Jorgensen, here's Jason Shepard. Good evening, BYU soccer fans. Welcome into Southfield, where tonight the BYU Cougars face the Utah Valley Wolverines. My name is Jason Shepard. Hopefully my voice lasts for the next couple of hours. Thank you so much for tuning in to BYU Women's Soccer. Joining me on the broadcast, former Cougar standout, current administrative assistant for BYU Women's Soccer. Her name is Rachel Manning Jorgensen. We'll hear from Rachel coming up in just a few minutes. The 13th ranked Cougars coming off a 3 3 draw on Thursday night here in Provo against Arkansas. BYU sits at 3 1 and 2 on the season. The Wolverines haven't played since Tuesday when they lost to Alabama, who was here in Provo earlier in the week. UVU also enters with the exact same record as BYU at 3 1 and 2. For more on tonight's matchup, it's time to hear from the head coach of the Cougars, Jennifer Rockwood. Our interview with Coach Rockwood is brought to you, as always, by Zions Bank. For big-time banking with a home team feel, Zions Bank is for you. I asked Coach Rockwood what she has learned about her team through six games. I learned that we are a very good team. Uh, really ex- I learned that we are a very good team, uh, really excited about our potential. We've done some really great things, uh, both offensively and defensively. Obviously have some things we have to clean up, um, some shots we have to finish. Um, but uh, I really like where we are right now um, and just really excited to get back on the field after a disappointing tie. Brecken has really come on strong over the last couple of games. Last two, she's had three goals. That left foot right now is lethal. Yeah, you know, we, we pushed her to the right side, and so she's feeling very comfortable Going, going to right and, and switching it over to her left. Um, she has a fantastic shot. Um, she's really good. We, we, we like to try and isolate her so she can take some 1v1s. Um, she also is doing a good job of getting balls into the assist zone and, and sending balls in that are dangerous for teammates. So, uh, yeah, really pleased with how Brecken has stepped up her attacking game. And, and she's actually doing a lot better uh, defensively uh, as well. Really, really playing her best soccer of her BYU career so far. How would you describe defensively the way the team is playing right now overall? It's tricky because I think we're doing a lot of good things and, and we attack a lot with our with our defense. Um, we've made a few mistakes here and there and they've really cost us. You don't usually just give up six shots and have three goals scored against you or, or five shots and two goals scored against you. So we have to do a better job of just cleaning some things up. But we're not giving our opponents a lot of good looks. We're not giving them any opportunity to control the flow or rhythm. So we're still doing a lot of good things. We have to be patient. Got to keep moving forward and push past some of the frustration. And But we're a really good team. I, I think we're further along right now this year than we were this time last year. So I'm really encouraged by by where we are. And then last thing, UVU coming in. This matchup is one that has gone in your favor a lot. What are your overall thoughts on this on this one? It's always a, a really tough matchup. It's one that uh, coaches, I, get, I think, get a little more nervous than, than anyone else does because, you know, a lot of the girls know each other. Our coaching staff is very familiar with all of those players. A lot of them are Utah kids. So watch them play as, as, as young players. And uh, they're very athletic, very technical. I think they're going to come in with a lot of excitement and, and wanting to really take it to us. So we've, we've got to be prepared to just play our style and trust the process that we're trying to play. And I think things will come together for us. Thank you, Jen. Okay, thank you. All right, let's pause for our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we Twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets red glare. Still there, oh, 
Welcome back. Pitch side here at Southfield. Jason Shepard, Rachel Manning Jorgensen. Moments ago, you heard from the head coach of the Cougars, Jennifer Rockwood. BYU rates 6 and 0 all time against Utah Valley. The Cougs looking to make it 7 and 0. And look, the last couple of home matches have not gone the way BYU would have wanted them to. A couple of draws that you know they felt should have been wins. I don't want to say that this team is is angry coming into this match, but I would say motivated. Yeah, I definitely think they're motivated. I think they're eager to step out onto the pitch again and, and kind of uh, step back out there and play, you know, the BYU soccer that they're known for. So I think the in-state rivalry games like UVU right here, it's a, it's a great opportunity for the Cougs to step out there and kind of get back to where, you know, they like to be on Southfield especially. Time now for tonight's starting lineups presented by Skedit. Team Cosmo uses Skedit software to schedule his appearances. Let Skedit go to work for your entire service company. For the visitors from Orem, the keeper tonight, number one, Idalia Serrano. Your forwards, number two, Faith Weber. Number 10, Juliana Carter. And number 25, Ashley Hughes in the midfield. Number three, Heather Stainbrook. Number eight, Nicole Ray. Number nine, Hannah Lee. And your defenders, number 12, Megan Sullivan. Number 22, Jenna Shepard. Yes, if the name sounds familiar, yes. That is Jamie Shepard's older sister. So technically I'm related to her too. Number three, Nicole Alanda. And number 24, Sydney Bushman. For the home team in goal, number 66. She has played every minute in the goal for the BYU Cougars. Her name is Savannah Mason. For BYU, the forwards. Number 11, Ellie Mon. Number 13, Brecken Mazingo. And number 33, Rachel McCarthy. In the midfield, number two, Olivia Smith. Number 10, Olivia Wade. Number 12, Jamie Shepard. Number 16, Kendall Peterson. Number 22, Bella Fellino. And on the back line, Lavinny Vaca, number 26. And the change in the starting lineup tonight, number 28, All Natalie right, Wells, fans. will get the start. Sign the freshman, the Izzy Stratton, had started every noise. other game prior to Sign today. Certainly kickoff. expect her to get into the match at some point tonight. Uh, but Natalie Wells, the senior and team captain, is going to get the start as one of the defenders tonight. BYU in the Navy tonight. Utah Valley in the gray with green trim. Actually a very nice looking kit for Utah Valley. Waiting the opening whistle from Southfield. Thank you for tuning in to BYU Women's Soccer. Crowd still filing in and we are underway. BYU possession. Smith with the ball in the neutral third. From one Olivia to the other. Wade now across the pitch to Vaca. Vaca gets away from the defender and now pushing forward. Even further wide near the far side touchline to Kendall Peterson and now to Ellie Mon in the corner. Ellie already with the cross into the box and right into the hands of Serrano. And BYU immediately one possession and they make their way into the attacking third. And Rachel, that BYU has done a great job of putting itself in position to get these early looks. It was the last game that BYU finally sort of the floodgates opened in terms of the first half scoring with three goals in the first 45. Yes, they definitely responded in the last game, and I think a lot of that has to do with a lot of the practices that they've been working on. They've been working on getting in line and getting those opportunities, and they've also been working on their runs into the box as well. I think last game there were, a lot of the players were a lot more deliberate when they were getting into the box with those runs. Faith Weber with the ball for Utah Valley. A deep ball into the box over the head of everybody, and Savannah Mason runs up and eliminates an attacking opportunity for the Wolverines. Again, I apologize for my voice. It started going out on me a couple of hours ago, and try and do the best we can here, so I apologize if it doesn't sound the greatest. Vaca. Back to Wade. And now looking for Vaca, who was all the way up into the attacking position. 
BYU with the ball in the attacking third. And Jamie Shepard will back it out, and the Cougars will reset. Smith has it. Nearing the attacking third, her pass deflected, and here comes Utah Valley. Ray with the ball. Nicole Ray dribbling near midfield. Ray looking for Faith Weber. Too far for her. Natalie Wells gets a foot on it and will kick it back into the penalty area to Savannah Mason. Kendall Peterson, pass. Errant and out of play, throw in on the far side, right in front of the stands here at Southfield. Crowd still filing in. Obviously a big night here on campus. We've got the 13th ranked women's soccer team hosting Utah Valley, and then later on tonight, BYU football, number 21, hosting number nine, Baylor at Lavelle Edwards Stadium. It's going to be a fun night. Another throw in on the far side. Utah Valley will maintain possession. Megan Sullivan will throw in. Puts it in play. Wade gets a head on it. Heads it back, but possession remains with the visitors. Across into the box. Sent the other way by BYU. But Utah Valley will come away with it. An opportunity. Nicole Ray defended by Smith. Ray into the box. Stops. Now kicks back to the back line, now back to Ray. Ray into the corner, still defended by Smith. Nicole Ray, back to Hughes, and now to Heather Stainbrook. Tied for the lead in goals for Utah Valley at three. Ball knocked out of play by BYU, throw in Utah Valley. Stainbrook and Juliana Carter, each with three goals on the season. Throw in into the box over the head, and right into the waiting arms of Savannah Mason. That ball That's bounced high. Lavinny Vaca bounced it up one more time off of her head and right into the arms of her keeper, Savannah Mason. BYU trying to get something going. The pass over everyone's head, and Jenna Shepard sends it back to Serrano into the penalty area. Utah Valley will reset one more time. Still scoreless. Five minutes into this one from Southfield. BYU forcing the turnover, and here come the Cougars. Natalie Wells. Pass up to Brecken Mazingo. Brecken with two goals on Thursday night in the draw. Cross from Way, or excuse me, from Smith into the box. Cleared. But BYU will maintain possession. Still in the attacking third. Mazingo. Right at the edge of the box, now dribbles in. Shot with the left foot, deflected and cleared. Smith right there, keeping possession for the Cougars. BYU still in the attack. Another left-footed shot from Mazingo! And she scores again! Brecken Mazingo with her third goal in the last two games. BYU jumps on top, 1-0, and it's Mazingo one more time. That was just a beautiful individual effort from Brecken back there. She she was just at the corner of the 18, a few yards outside of the 18, and just decided to rip it. I mean, she's been having an incredible, you know, last few games here on Southfield, and she's confident and, you know, e eager to take those shots, and I love that shooter's mentality that she's got. I mean, the placement of that was just beautiful. So great start for BYU and great shot by Brecken Mozingo right there. I love when a player knows that they're on a hot streak and that they're playing just really good. Yep. Just, just go with it. And that's what Brecken just did. It's funny because that's what I was talking to Coach Rockwood about in the pregame interview, talking about how that left foot has been lethal, and we just saw it uh, a moment ago, and BYU leads 1-0. Right, and even the play just... Oh. oh, bad pass. Opportunity for Faith Weber. Top of the box, shot, and a save by Mason. It's a dangerous pass that was intercepted by Weber. Led to an opportunity, but not a great one. An easy save for Savannah Mason. Mason coming in with a save percentage of 556. Eight goals against for Savannah this year. Cougars on the attack. Peterson on the move. Into the attacking third, near the inline. Right foot across. A save by Serrano. Utah Valley still trying to clear. They cannot do it. Peterson gets it again. Another shot into the box. No good. Mazingo with the left foot. One times it, and it's out of play. It'll be a goal kick. 
for Idalia Serrano out of Madado, Madada, excuse me, California, redshirt senior. She's given up five goals on the season. Another bad pass by the Wolverines, taken away by BYU. Jamie Shepard with possession. Pass to Olivia Wade, and now back to Natalie Wells, getting her first start of the season. Across the pitch to Smith, and now to Brecken Mazingo, back towards the middle of the area. To Wade, and now to Smith. To Bella, Bella pushed, and they're gonna call a foul on number 22, Jenna Shepard. So it will be BYU possession. And it will be a free kick for the Cougars, about 30 yards out, maybe a little longer than that, maybe 35. Mazingo lines up behind it to take it. Brecken runs up on it with the left foot, curves into the box. BYU still there, Mon gets a foot on it. Actually, that was Jamie Shepard. Back to Brecken. Mazingo trying to split the triple team. Cannot do it. Takeaway by Utah Valley. Good defense by the Wolverines. And here comes Hannah Lee. Back to Weber. And now to Heather Stainbrook. Stainbrook with the pass further across the pitch. Looking for Nicole Ray. Wide left. Cannot get her the ball. Utah Valley still with possession. Hannah Lee with a shot and is wide of the near post. A dangerous shot just sailed wide and a goal kick for Savannah Mason. Mason puts the ball in play to Leveni Vaca. Lava to Wells. Nat gets away from the defender. Slowly pushes the ball forward, looking for Shepard. Nice takeaway by Utah Valley, but BYU gets it back. Cougars leading 1-0. Brecken Mazingo, that lethal left foot putting the Cougars on top early in this one. Remember, BYU has won all six matchups between these two teams. Good defense once again by Utah Valley. The Cougars will keep possession. Peterson on the run. He's got a defender right on her hip. Across into the box, nicely deflected by Utah Valley and sent the other way. But BYU cannot hang on possession. Here come the Wolverines in the neutral third. Stainbrook with the ball, looking for Ray. Good defense by Olivia Smith. Steps in front of the pass, knocks it away. And BYU will send it the other direction. Ellie Mon. In the neutral third, finds Brecken Mazingo. Mazingo has the ball knocked away, but Rachel McCarthy right there across into the box, kicked out of play, and it will be our first corner kick. Nope, it'll just be the throw in. Corner nope, kick. corner kick. First corner kick nice. for BYU. It's brought to you by Mountain Array. America Credit Union, University the official credit union of BYU Canada. Athletics. Into the box, a shot by BYU. Can't get enough on it, saved by Serrano, and quickly put back in play. Utah Valley already at midfield. Wade on defense, ball knocked out of play. It should be and will be a Wolverine throw in on the far side. Ellie Mon had a good look on her windup on the other end, but it it hit off a defender and took some of the steam off of it and made it an easy save for Serrano. Throw in by Utah Valley. And the Wolverines will have it after a foul is called a tripping call on Olivia Wade. So a free kick for Utah Valley. An early set piece here for the Wolverines. one nothing BYU. As we just reached 10 minutes into the first half. BYU setting up its line. And 
there are two Wolverine players over the ball. There's the whistle. The free kick into the box, still available for both teams. A shot, and it hits off the far post and ricochets in. That was Hannah Lee, and she ties the game at 1-1. The ball was there and available for both teams. Hannah Lee was the first to get to it, decided to take a shot. It looked like it may sail wide, but it hits the post and ricochets in. And just Four like that, we eight. are tied Number at one. Yeah, that was a great set piece look by UVU. I mean, unfortunately, BYU wasn't able to clear that ball, and that's where BYU struggled a little bit on those defensive organization plays with those set pieces and transition opportunities. So instead of clearing it out wide, they, they left it open for UVU to have a you know second-chance opportunity, and it was a great finish by Hannah Lee over there. Well, we've seen this over the last couple of games. BYU giving up some goals, but they were able to respond pretty quickly. We'll see if that's the same case here. BYU possession the middle of the pitch and now to Olivia Smith on the right side goes even further to Mazingo Mazingo goes to her left has the ball punched away Utah Valley tries to clear but they can't do it now Bellaflino with the ball right foot across into the box McCarthy there but a save by Serrano nicely done by the Wolverine keeper shot from McCarthy Rachel was in good position but we are still tied. UVU ball taken away by BYU. Back to the center circle, Leveni Vaca with possession. Now back to Wells. Natalie to Smith and now to Mazingo. Back to Olivia Smith and BYU will reset all the way to the back line to Natalie Wells. Wells pass intercepted by Utah Valley to Weber. Back to Lee, Lee with the left foot and a save by Mason. Another dangerous look for Utah Valley. Intercepted a pass on the run, full stride, but a good save by Mason. Savannah puts the ball back in play. Here come the Cougars, already near the attacking third. Mazingo looking across the pitch, trying to find Mon. Mon trying to run the ball down before it goes out of play. Cannot do it. It'll be a throw in for Utah Valley. Megan Sullivan, the senior from Santa Rosa, will throw in for Utah Valley. But BYU will have the ball. McCarthy had it momentarily. UVU tried to clear, and BYU was there. Now the Cougars return the favor. As they tried to push it forward. Utah Valley takes it away. Ball will go out of play off of Smith. A throw in for Nicole Ray. And you heard the whistle. Out of play off of Utah Valley. So Olivia Smith throw in for the Cougars. Ball gets into Wade and now back to Wells. And Wells will roll it all the way into the penalty area. Mason immediately sends it back out. And here come the Cougars. Smith trying to push downfield. Intercepted by Utah Valley. And now BYU does the exact same thing. Mazingo stepping in front, pass downfield, looking for McCarthy just ahead of her, and the keeper has to run up, gets it. McCarthy is going to be called for a foul and push in the back, I believe. Yep, and the official is quickly talking to McCarthy, so it will be UVU ball. All tied up. Brecken Mazingo put BYU up 1-0. And Hannah Lee, with the equalizer, all within the first roughly 12 minutes of this one. A little over 30 minutes to go here in the first half. Ball knocked out of play off of BYU, so it will be UBU ball. BYU coming off of a draw on Thursday to Arkansas, 3-3. Utah Valley coming off a loss on Tuesday to Alabama. So Utah Valley has not played since Tuesday. Right now, 
hanging with the Cougs here, 1-1. Utah Valley ball. Trying to find Weber. BYU takes it away, Mazingo looking for Wade. Ball batted around and the Cougars will keep it. All the way back to Wells and now to Lava. BYU trying to set things up. Across the pitch now to Peterson. And now back to Vaca. Now the Cougars look to push it forward. Mazingo spins away from the defense to Olivia Smith. Smith trying to get around the defender. Down the near side, trying to get the inline. Stops, starts, across, in and out of the box. Mazingo there. Shot with the right foot, goes all the way through and in between two different players' legs and out. It'll be a goal kick for Serrano and Utah Valley. No substitution so far in this one. Ball put in place, taken away by BYU, and right on cue, taken away by Utah Valley, and in fact, they will actually get a whistle and a foul called on Jamie Shepard for the takedown, so it'll be a free kick for the Wolverines. Right at midfield, a sliding tackle by the Cougars, dislodges the ball, and BYU has possession. All the way back to Wells. Wells gets away from the defender and now pushes it forward. Not on the same page with Wade, taken away by Utah Valley. Here come the Wolverines. Hannah Lee with a pass wide. Shot with the left foot right to Savannah Mason. And a save. And the whistle has been called a handball. And the handball, who did they call the handball on? We're trying to watch the BYU TV feed. The ball is going to be placed... Essentially, at the top of the 18, I'm going to try and get a look here and see what they call his handball on the Cougars. May have hit like an elbow is what yeah, it there, looked like. Nat, Natalie Wells and Petey were right there. I mean, I don't think they necessarily had their arm out. It was kind of down to their side, so yeah. that's kind of a tough one. Well, what it means, though, is that another set piece is upcoming for Utah Valley, and it's in a very dangerous spot. The ball is resting right in front of the penalty area. Hannah Lee is the closest player to it. BYU setting up its line. Lee will not take it. Stainbrook will be the one that actually takes it. The wall holds for the Cougars. And the ball bounces back, but Utah Valley keeps it. Megan Sullivan into the box, punched out by Mason. And she's run into by Utah Valley. And it's I can't see which Utah Valley player is on the ground, but she's the one that's more worse for wear. I cannot tell who that is. She collided with Savannah, who was moving up to punch that ball out. It's number 22, Jenna Shepard. So obviously a... Uh, Certainly hope everything's okay. Maybe just had the wind knocked out of her. I was talking with uh, Jamie Shepard after practice yesterday, and she was telling me how I asked her if her parents were going to have like the <laughs> half jerseys, like ones wearing half, you know, BYU and, U right. and Utah Valley. She's like, no, they did that one time, but she's like, my mom really hates these games. <laughs> she says it's basically lose lose. The good news is Jenna Shepard is up. She seems to be okay. She's walking off on her own power. Uh, she does have the trainers flanking her. So we will see if she's going to stay in. I don't think she's going to stay in. I think we're going to have a substitution coming in. It looks like Catherine Wynn, the junior from right here in Provo, will probably come in as a substitution for Jenna Shepard. But the good news is she looks to be okay. Well, right now, the only reason she's coming out is because she has to. She's going to have to come out. The substitution will be made, but uh, don't expect that to last very long. So it will be Catherine Wynn that will make her way onto the pitch. 
and Jenna will immediately start walking back towards the area where you check in to sub right back in. So it's only going to be a few minutes, if that, or a few seconds probably rather, before she's back out on the pitch. Certainly good news for the entire Shepard family. 1-1, 27 minutes to go. BYU had the free kick. Utah Valley, first one there, sends it the other way, out of play, throw in for the Cougars. BYU maintaining possession. Peterson will throw in right at midfield. Looking for Olivia Wade. Pass taken away. Peterson gets a foot on it, kicks it out of play, and just like that, Jenna Shepard back out onto the pitch, and Catherine Wynn making her way back to the Utah Valley bench. So a Utah Valley throw in right in front of the stands here at Southfield. A throw in, the only player there wearing BYU Navy blue. Natalie Wells sends it the other way. Cougars with possession. Ellie Mon right at midfield and kicks it out of play, but I think it hit, nope. For a second, it looked like it may have hit off the defender, but no, it looks like it's uh, off of Ellie's foot, so a throw in for Utah Valley. A throw in by the Wolverines. Defense there, and BYU comes away with it. Aggressive defense gets the turnover. Bella Felino trying to run down the ball, cannot do it. The Wolverines send it all the way back into the box. Serrano pushes it back out. And here comes Utah Valley. Long pass. Utah Valley looking to get something going and a miscommunication. Nicole Ray stopped when she should have kept going. She may have had an opportunity to have a 1v1 situation. But BYU is thankful and the Cougars will send it the other way. Another bad pass by the Cougars. And a throw in upcoming for Utah Valley. 1 1, our score here from Southfield. The sun has not set yet. The good news is it has gone over the IPF, so it's not in your face. It's also coming from someone who's sitting currently under a canopy, so. Fillmore Spencer is Utah Valley's trusted, top-rated local law firm. They can play offense, defense, or provide a little coaching. Fillmore Spencer, solving problems and seizing opportunities for you, your family, and your business. Free kick now for Utah Valley right at midfield. Wolverines put it in play. Near the top of the arc, both teams fighting for the ball. Lava sends it the other way and out of play. So a throw in. Right on the edge of the neutral and attacking third for the Wolverines. Ball put in play. Off of BYU and another throw in for Utah Valley. Five shots for the Cougs, five shots for Utah Valley. BYU with four fouls, UVU with two. Going to have several substitutes for BYU momentarily. Ball headed out, and UVU will throw in again. In play, taken away by Shepard. Jamie to Brecken. Brecken ahead of the defense. Now the defense catches up. She slips, has the ball taken away by the Wolverines. Now to Nicole Ray. Ray further wide to Hughes. And Olivia Smith sends it the other way. Jenna Shepard gets a foot on it. Ball bouncing up and lands at the feet of Rachel McCarthy. Here come the Cougars. BYU now in the attacking third. McCarthy, three defenders around her. Right-footed cross, hits the defender, and launches up and out of play. So we will have our first Science Bank substitution for big-time banking with a home team field. Science Bank is for you. Tara Warner, Fryer will check in as well. Daviana Vaca will check in. So it looks like Peterson, Mon, and I missed the third person to check out for BYU. 
Oh, and Zoe Jacobs checked in as well for BYU. So those are your Zions Bank substitutions. BYU still with the ball. McCarthy, right-footed cross, and Serrano standing right next to the goal. Gets a hand on it and sends it the other way. Utah Valley, BYU, all tied at one as we get to under 22 minutes to go here in the first half. Jason Shepard, Rachel Manning-Jorgensen with you. We appreciate you tuning in. Ball knocked out of play by the Wolverines. Throw in on the far side for BYU. Into Fryer. Allie Fryer, one of the freshmen. Picked up her first goal a couple of games ago. Another throw in for BYU on the far side. The throw in over everyone's head. But luckily, BYU comes away with it. Now Bella had it for a second. And Utah Valley takes it away. Shepard now with the ball. That being Jenna. Now to Hughes. And now downfield, the only players there wearing BYU blue. And Natalie Wells will send it all the way back into the box to Savannah Mason. Mason, an errant pass. BYU can't get to it. An opportunity, Stainbrook is a shot and a goal! Heather Stainbrook gets it past Savannah Mason and after BYU led 1-0, two unanswered goals by the visitors from Orem. It's now 2-1 UVU. That's now four goals for Heather Stainbrook to lead Utah Valley in goals so far this season. And it was a dangerous play. Mason rolled it out. But it was an easy steal by Utah Valley. A quick pass to the top of the arc. And Stainbrook launched one and found the back of the net. Correction, number three, Heather Stainbrook. On the assist, Hannah Lee and Juliana Carter. So now BYU trailing 2-1. BYU ball. Natalie Wells. To Vaca. Levinny on the move. Looking for Jacobs. Wolverine sent it the other way. Pass downfield. It's a race between Wells and Wells gets it. Natalie gets there before Utah Valley would have another 1v1 situation. Good hustle by Nat. Daviana Vaca. Dava back to Natalie Wells. Wells now to Jamie Shepard and now back to Natalie. BYU right now working it on the back line, trying to find the right time to move it forward. And now they're, here they go. Zoe Jacobs looking for Fryer near the end line. Good defense by Utah Valley to block Alley from getting to it. It will roll out of play. And it'll be another goal kick for Idalia Serrano, the redshirt senior. Under 20 minutes to go here in the first half. 2-1 UVU. Pass downfield by the Wolverines. Taken away by BYU, here come the Cougars. Jamie Shepard looking for Fryer. Fryer pulled down, and the whistle was late, but finally blew. She was pulled down to the ground, so it will be a free kick right at midfield for BYU. Leveni Vaca will take it. The ball placed right at midfield. In play to Warner, and out of the far side to Zoe Jacobs. Jacob's brother gave the opening prayer. He's getting ready to go on his mission. He had his name tag on and everything. His dad was right by his side, being his companion till he heads into the MTC. Tighter it, tighter. BYU ball. Fryer has it. Looking for Mazingo, streaking down the near side. Out of play off of Brecken. Good defense by Utah Valley and a throw in in the corner for UVU. You have to front there. Jamie, Jamie, Ball put in play 
headed up and over by Vaca. Utah Valley will come away with it. UVU on the move. Jacobs on the defense. Good defense by BYU. Vaca sends it the other way. It does hit off of UVU and out of play. So a throw in from Zoe Jacobs on the far side. BYU Athletics would like to recognize Adobe for being tonight's game sponsor and thank them for being an important part of our team. Intermountain Healthcare, official medical provider of BYU Athletics. BYU ball, Brecken Mazingo at midfield, catches up to it, defended by Hughes. Pass into the corner looking for Felino. Felino, defended by Jenna Shepard. And it's going to be UVU ball, a foul on Bella Felino, who's trying to plead her case. So it will be a free kick near the end line. BYU's attacking third. UVU free kick coming up. Ruby Halatic will be checking in in just a moment. 2-1 UVU, under 17 minutes to go. Free kick. Looking for Hughes. Mazingo got a head on it. Heads it through the press box area, so a throw in for Hughes. Hughes looking for Lee. Lee can't get to it. Vaca wasn't quite sure what to do with the ball, so she just kicked it out of play. So a throw in for Nicole Ray, the sophomore from Alpine for Utah Valley. BYU's defense lining up. Throw in into the box. BYU trying to clear. Jacobs does it. Sends it towards the center circle, but Jenna Shepard is there for the Wolverines. Now plays the ball wide. Now Utah Valley tries to advance. Zoe Jacobs had the ball for a moment, and now a trip on Jamie Shepard and a quick re-kick by Utah Valley. A shot. A pass into the box, a shot, and I, did they have the offside flag yeah, up? Yeah, they got the offside. Yeah, the offside right flag there. was up. It was a dangerous shot. The good news is Savannah Mason had run up and had saved it, but the offside flag was up. Yeah, th those quick restarts can, can be dangerous too, so. It caught BYU off guard, yeah. certainly. BYU possession. Vaca, pass taken away by Nicole Ray. And Brecken Mazingo right there to take it away from her. Brecken passes up to Warner in the center circle. Now back to the Cougar back line. Vaca launches one. Ball played by Utah Valley, but off of BYU, they say. So another Zions Bank substitution for big time banking with the home team field. Zions Bank is for you. Ruby Halatic checking in for Bella Felino. Just under 15 minutes to go here in the first 45. 2-1, Utah Valley. BYU scored first, led 1-0, then two unanswered by the Wolverines. Throw in to Fryer. Sliding tackle dislodges it, and Utah Valley comes away with it. Another opportunity for the Wolverines. Long pass into the waiting arms of BYU keeper Savannah Mason. Drop kicks it. Right to midfield, Halatic deadens it and has possession. Nicely done by Ruby. Finds Mazingo. Mazingo on the run. Right foot across. Utah Valley still trying to clear the ball, still in the penalty area. Halatic with the left foot shoots and sails it. I like the idea, but that ball just sailed. Another BYU substitution coming up. In is Sierra six. Pinnock Sierra will Pinnock. check in, checking out Rachel McCarthy. And speaking of the freshman Sierra Pinnock, you will hear from her coming up at halftime, our player spotlight. Sierra always brings the energy. So a goal kick 
for Serrano. She'll just casually put it back in play. UVU now advancing forward. Jamie Shepard there to intercept. Cougs now on the attack. Back to the back line. Zoe Jacobs there to Brecken Mazingo. And now to Daviana Baca. Davi now pushing forward. A shot from deep bounces once and into the arms of Serrano. UVU ball taken away by Vaca. The ball bouncing around up for grabs and BYU momentarily had it, but Utah Valley will come away with it. Jamie, or excuse me, Jenna Shepard with a pass as she falls down. Passes wide, taken away by Jacobs. Zoe Jacobs looks for Jamie Shepard. Jamie has it taken away. Saved in time by UVU, and another opportunity for Utah Valley thwarted Offside, by that pesky offsides flag. That's two possessions in the last few minutes Utah Valley had negated by the offside flag. BYU ball. Looking for Mazingo, Brecken with the one goal for BYU on the night. Pinnock has it taken away. Now Hughes running it down for Utah Valley. Cougars trying to get in the passing lanes, and they do. Taken away by Mazingo to Jamie Shepard, and now to Ruby, or rather to Fryer, to Brecken. Brecken wide to Pinnock. Sierra's pass deflected by Utah Valley. And now Nicole Ray has it. Looking for Weber. Good defense by Wells, trying to save it before it goes out of play. Cannot do it, and it'll be a throw-in for Utah Valley. Ray, the sophomore from Alpine, will throw in. Trying to find out who, who the play was supposed to be run for. Throws it in, BYU comes away with it. Cougars. Trailing by a goal, it's 2-1 Utah Valley. Aladdick trying to dribble out of pressure. Cannot do it, and now a foul is going to be called on Haladic. And I believe, yep, Ruby is going to receive a yellow card for the trip. And I believe yellow that trip was on Jenna Cougars. Shepard. It was. Actually, yeah, it was uh, sort of a, a slide and yeah. undercut Jenna Shepard. So Ruby picks up the yellow card, our first yellow card for either team in this one tonight. Nearing 10 minutes here in the first half. Ball put in play. Hughes has it, defended by Fryer. Now taken away by BYU. Here comes... Brecken Mazingo. Mazingo at midfield. Pass looking for Vaca. Knocked out of play by Hannah Lee. So BYU ball. Vaca will throw in near the Cougar bench. In play to Jamie Shepard. Jamie to Leveni Vaca. Lava. Further wide to Jacobs. Jacobs gets away from the defender. Now on the move. Zoe. Into the box. Has it taken away. Oh, good defense by Utah Valley. That was going to be a very good look for Zoe Jacobs had she been able to get past one more defender. But BYU will maintain the ball. It was kicked out of play by the Wolverines. So a throw in on the far side by Utah Valley. One UVU BYU possession Wells to Pinnock Sierra dribbles out of the congestion trying to find Haladic Wolverine still trying to clear they finally do that ball sails 
about 10 yards, or excuse me, 10 rows up into the stands. So another throw in near the attacking third for BYU. Jacobs on the far side. Gets it into Mazingo. Mazingo trying to get away from the triple team. Brecken thought the ball went off of the defender. The officials say otherwise. So it will be a throw in on the far side for Utah Valley. Number 15 and number 19, Tessa Thornton and Catherine Wynn will check in for Utah Valley. Checking out is Nicole Ray and Ashley Hughes. UVU ball with eight minutes to go in the first half. And the visitors from four miles away leading 2-1. Cougs led this one 1-0 early. Here comes BYU looking for the equalizer before we reach halftime. Ball out of play. Out the in line off of BYU, so a goal kick for Serrano. Puts it back in play to Utah Valley. Win has it taken away. Pinnock pushed in the back hey, by it. Win. Organize it. So it will be a free kick for BYU and Mazingo lining up to take it. Go, Jenna! Go, Jenna! The ball very close to the good. Cougars attacking third. BYU should get a good look on this one. With 7.20 to go. Masingo, left foot into the box. Hey, hey. Good defense by Utah Valley, sending it the other direction. Here comes Utah Valley. Lee with it. Get him going. Defended by Vaca. Now Shepard comes up to help. Vaca with a foul on the tackle, and it will be a free kick for Utah Valley. Utah Valley coaches asking for cards. Thought that last one deserved a yellow card. Did not get it. Utah Valley possession taken away by BYU. Pinnock back towards the middle of the pitch to Fryer. And now to Mazingo. Mazingo into the attacking third. Plays the ball wide to Warner. Terra near the inline. Shot with the left foot. Bounced up. And a save by Serrano. Oh, a dangerous play. Has to be a foul. It's a foul. Ruby Halatic was there, and I think right now Utah Valley's saying that they want a foul on running into the keeper. The keeper on Ruby back there, yeah. But they're not going to get it. Sydney on it. Push, push, push. It's just a goal kick. Push, push. Watch the, watch the replay. Ruby and the keeper Serrano got to the ball at the same time. I think it's a good no call. The ball put back into play. Five minutes to go here from Southfield. 2-1 Utah Valley. BYU trying to tie things up before we get to the break. Try and head into the halftime with some momentum. Taken away by Utah Valley. Pass downfield looking for Weber. But Natalie Wells is there, and she'll send it back to Mason, who immediately sends it the other direction. And a header by Mazingo. Here come the Cougars. Natalie Wells. Or excuse me, Tara Warner. Wide to Fryer. Allie Fryer into the box. Shot with the right foot! And gets it to go! She stops, starts, and kicks with the right foot near the far post. And BYU does get the equalizer. It's now 2-2 with 4.47 to go in the first half. Love that effort from Allie Fryer right, th right there. I mean, UVU's been doing a great job of disrupting any rhythm that BYU's been able to, you know, get on offense up there. But great job by Allie to recognize that she had some time and space and, and had the ability to take that 1v1 opportunity and was able to put it in the back of the net. So great cool job by Allie, and hopefully this you know Allie sparks a fire with, with BYU a little bit. That's Allie Fryer's second goal of the season. And boy, did it come at a good time. 
2-2, 4.47 to go. BYU intercepts the pass, and now Utah Valley does the same thing. Stainbrook with the ball, defended by Shepard. Back to Lee. Lee, further wide, right foot across into the box. Sent the other way by BYU, but right to win. Catherine Wynn. A deep ball over everyone's head, bounces once and into the arms of Savannah Mason. BYU possession. Just tied this one up. 2 2. Jamie Shepard taken down twice, and finally the whistle is called. It'll be a free kick for BYU in the neutral third. 3.50 to go. BYU puts it in play. Natalie Wells crosses midfield to Vaca and now to Pinnock. Sierra trips up, maintains her balance. They'll call a foul, and it'll be another free kick for BYU. I thought because Pinnock had sort of regained her, her footing that they were just going to let it go, but... A little bit of a late whistle. 2-2 here from Southfield. BYU and Utah Valley. Free kick. Wells takes it and launches it into the box. Utah Valley clears it and out of play. Moments ago. Allie Fryer tying this one up at two apiece. Ball put in play by BYU. Shot from the inline in the far corner lands on top of the goal. So a goal kick, unless they're saying it was deflected off of Utah Valley, and that very well may be what the call was. It's going to be a corner kick for BYU. Corner kicks brought to you by Mountain America, the official credit union of BYU Athletics. What? The corner into the box. Through. Davion Avaca there. Quick pass to Pinnock. Pinnock cuts back to her left, shoots, has the ball deflected, and Sierra gets to it again near the end line. Two Looking minutes. for the cross, hits it off the defender the and out of play. It will be another corner kick for BYU, brought to you by Mountain America. On your toes. Sierra will take it. We hit the left foot. Into the box, punched out by Serrano. And Utah Valley trying to clear. Both teams fighting for possession, and BYU comes away with it. On the near side to Baca. Into the corner to Pinnock. Sierra now on the move. Passes out of the triple team taken away by Utah Valley. Pass downfield. Looking for Stewart. Stewart fighting for possession with Vaca. And has it taken away. Good play by Daviana Baca. Downfield to Pinnock. Sierra. Back to the Cougar back line. And Natalie Wells. Pass to Shepard. And now Jamie will send the ball on to Leveni Vaca. Vaca misplayed the ball, has it taken away, and here come the Wolverines. A shot by Stainbrook. Hits off the back of one of the BYU defenders. BYU tries to clear, cannot do it. Utah Valley maintaining possession as we near 40 seconds to go here in the first half. BYU needs one more defensive stop. And a shot has no chance of going in. Could not see who got that shot, but it sailed and out of play. Wolverine corner kick. They will say, though, that it hit off of BYU, so it will be a corner kick. 15 seconds to go. Corner into the box, headed up and in by Utah Valley. And one more time. A corner kick bites BYU, and with seven and a half seconds to go, UVU jumps back on top, 3-2. That ball was perfectly placed in the box, 
a header by UVU. Wasn't good initially, but then it was number 14, I believe, Isabella Stewart, who came in and got a second header and put it in the net. Oh, man. I mean, great job by UVU capitalizing on their opportunity right there. I mean, they only had, there's seven and a half seconds left on the clock, and they were aware of that timing, so they went over to the, you know, that set piece to that corner to get that ball into the box as quickly as possible to try to get one last, you know, shot off before the half, and kudos to them for finishing that. Seven and a half seconds to go. BYU down 3-2. Four, three, two, two, and one. one. First half, time has expired. BYU jumped out one nothing. Two unanswered by Utah Valley, had them leading 2-1. Fryer tied it up at two and with seven and a half seconds to go, UVU takes the lead 3-2 into the break. We will take a break. We'll come back, give you the first half stats when we return. It is 3-2 Utah Valley over 13th ranked BYU on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.